Hello and welcome to this video on the new Bifaco per call. Let's check out what's to come before we get into it. I'd like to say up front, thank you to Bifaco for sponsoring this video. Now, per call is four inputs that have four individual outs or a mixed out. Taking any individual output will remove it from that mix out. These inputs feed four VCAs. We can control the volume of any of these channels, which affect individual and mixed outs. And those VCAs are controlled by four decaying envelopes on these sliders. We can CV control the length and time of these decays. And we also get the envelopes out, so as they're triggered, you can patch them back out around the rest of your system. We can vary the strength of the VCAs and envelopes for very dynamic control right at the strength in. And we can choke sounds on these switches. Think classic drum machine or a real hi-hat, where you have open and closed hats, but you can't have an open hat playing while the hi-hat's closed. That's choking out the sound. Another nice example would be having, say, a kick and a bass on one and two, and when the bass drum hits, having that choke out the bass line, so it keeps that low end nice and tidy. Inputs are normalised in pairs, so input one normals to two, working around this kind of choking mechanism, and three normals to four. So if you put noise in three, you could trigger three and four separately and have this choked out kind of hi-hat pattern. It's a simple device that's fun to use, integrates well with a system with the added CV control strength envelope outs and the inbuilt mixing. There's a good amount of patches in this video, so a timing index is on screen and linked in the description so you can skip around as you see fit. But without further ado, let's dive in. So in this first patch, I'd like to effectively make a getting started patch. And here's where we're going to get to, but... Let's break it down and actually go through everything that's going on. Now I have sequences set up, but I don't actually have anything going on through a per call. Now patching in a low pitch sine wave, and this is an oscillating filter, and then taking a basic trigger, this will trigger the decay envelope on board. And this is my bass drum. I'm coming out of channel four, so everything has been mixed as of yet. But because I get the envelope out, I want to kind of enhance this kick with a bit of pitch movement from the envelope itself. It just lifts that kick drum into it, even though it's basic, a more rounded kind of bass drum sound. I've then got digital noise that I'm going to patch into channel two, and a basic two and four pattern for this snare or clap-like sound. And I can balance the level right there on the panel. Now, because we get this normalization of one and two and three and four, I'm just going to plug one sound into three. And when I trigger this, either on three or four, we'll get these patterns coming out. And the first pattern here is going to be an offbeat hi-hat. We're gonna do a typical kind of choking thing. Importantly, this has gone onto channel four. I could trigger the same sound on three, but I want this closed and open hat. So because three will choke four out when the switch is on, this is going into four to start with. And with choke off, let's patch a different rhythm into channel three. So I have sine wave into one being triggered with a pitch envelope going out to help create the kick drum. Noise into two with a trigger. High pass noise into three, normalizing across the four choke off and we've got this closed and shut hi-hat vibe. Now turn on choke. When three is active it chokes out the envelope on four giving us this classic drum machine or real hi-hat choking because you can't possibly have an open and a closed hat at the same time on a single real hi-hat. Now everything here is mixed down but as soon as I plug a cable in it removes that from the mix. So coming out of one the kick drum goes out of three, closed hat goes, and out of two, the clap goes. So this mix out no longer contains any outputs that are actually plugged in. I'm routing two out here into some reverb. 
And that's effectively per call. The strength will allow us to variably alter the level and strength of these envelopes and VCAs, CV control over the decay, as we've said, and these envelope outs, which are useful for helping you synthesize sound. So in this patch, I've built up a stereo mix, making use of both input and output normalizations. Now in the background, have a kick, clap, and hi-hat going. That's nothing to do with per call. Removing that, output four here, you can see I'm not taking output three, is a mix of output three and four. And when I patch an output, one and two there, it removes them from this mix output or the fourth output. One and two are panned hard left and right, with the left hand side being channel one. Make sure you're listening to stereo, of course. And I'm also making use of the input normalization. When I just have one sound in input one there, it's normalizing across to input two. So I can trigger these sides differently and have their outputs coming out into a mixer panned hard left and right. So here's just a quick look at Chuck. And we saw Chuck creating that open closed machine drum, drum machine or real acoustic hi-hat like choking in the first patch in the video. But here I have a kick drum on channel one. I'm mixing these externally mainly because I want to bring them through the scope so you can see them. Nice trick there with a the kick, even though this is just a kick drum at the input, a fully formed finished drum sound, I can still use this. to close down the kick and that can be a very performative thing to actually be able to kind of double gate, double trigger things. I'm muting the kick, that was the top trace. Here's the bottom trace on data. Modulating decay there, let's remove modulation for now. Simple 16th note pattern and when that plays against the kick, super simple. But when I put choke on, notice you can see in here on the LED and on data there, it takes this sound out. A bit more obvious when it's a longer decay. And if I mute the kick, you can hear those gaps. Now this isn't an audio sidechain compression ducking like effect, it's actually choking out the envelopes. So here's a simple patch that we're going to expand with some free running LFOs. Now as we go across, we have our kick, digital kind of low res noise like snare or clap, hat like sound with white noise, and this filtered oscillating filter sign. So with the addition of five LFOs, all free running into the decay envelopes to modulate decay time across those four sounds and to modulate the strength, which is a variable VCA-like control. It's not just an accent on and off. We can bring this in and out, lengthen and shorten the sounds and just add a whole new dynamic to what was a very simple patch. Bit of effects, background chord, and that beat scatters nicely across those effects and that pad in the background. So here's another stereo patch, this time using per call as a kind of clever effects send routing style device. Now there's a kick, just kind of pinning the thing down, but the four outputs of per call are going to four different places. A crush delay, a spring reverb, low pass filter, and a high pass filter. So all together, I'm using this to route to different places and the triggers that I put in will choose which sound route where. And I'm taking the same sound into both sides as one and two normalize and three and four normalize. So really I'm routing one sound across four different destinations and using those envelopes. So here's a patch where I was playing around with the idea of pseudo filtering. 
And there's a little bit of effect in the background. I'll remove that for now. And if I turn down channel two, we can hear a sign like, it's quite a buzzy sign from my oscillator. Coming into channel one, the oscillator has a Vot Proctive signal going to it. And we have the same gate split with a multiple into both channels one and two. Now, if we consider this our bass sound, we can then bring in a richer wave, which is the second input, and it's a pulse wave on top of this kind of fuzzy sign. And then have it decay differently with the idea that if we were modulating the cutoff on a filter, we'd be taking out harmonics over time. So if you get rid of the richer harmonic structure of the pulse sooner, kind of feels like filtering, hence the pseudo filtering title of this patch. But it's also just a simple way to layer sound. It doesn't really sound like filtering, certainly not moving a cutoff, but that rush of harmonics that's quicker and faster with its decay does add a simple extra dimension to the sound. So here's a patch where I look at double gating, or kind of double dynamic control, double amplitude, double VCA-like control, with a bonus kind of gated reverb effect that we'll come to. Now my sound first comes into channel one. The output there is the green trace on data. And we can see the notes decay in time with the sequence. But then my sound comes back out from data. It's purely there just so we can see it. So out of channel one, back into channel two, with a different gate pattern triggering these decaying envelopes. Now if I turn up the second envelope, we get a very clear picture of what's passing through. And the final output of all this is going through a filter with this first envelope being used to modulate the cutoff. Now if I put this up full, so it's mainly passing through fully, not that affected. You can see we've got a steady clock here and a rhythmic gate here, kind of double gating two different rhythms controlling the sound. So if I find a nice shape that I like on the first envelope and VCA stage, which works well for me, then take my sound back into two and kind of rhythmically gate it, get this kind of echo-like bounce. It sounds like it's a slight echo there. I'm also rooting my sound into a reverb and taking the second envelope, the steady gated one, into a VCA to turn this reverb on and off which just emphasizes this kind of 16th note clocked kind of feel that the patch has. So because Percol has four envelopes, four ins, four VCAs, four outs if we want, or mixed outs, I like this idea of double gating and double controlling what's going on with two different envelopes rather than just one. So hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment on the video if you wish. You can support my work at patreon.com forward slash divkid if you like what I do. There are some bonus exclusives over there. Do check out some other Bufaco demos linked in the description. Cheers to them for sponsoring this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.